So much like the disease process varies in one patient to another in terms of how things look in the pancreas with imaging, there are different times we use different types of imaging, right, in the diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis. So MRCP, for example, versus ERCP, as you discussed a little earlier. How do we consider timing of when to do what? You know, with how the advancement has been made in how we have now great imaging tools like the MRCP and it has a great capability to see the pancreatic ducts and that follow the anatomy. We really have not been using ERCP for diagnostic purposes and more so we use ERCP which is an endoscopy not for diagnostic but more for interventions when we find probably a narrowing or something to go after on the MRCP. So we start with the MRCP in the workup and if it shows the changes and does not show a need for an ERCP, then usually we would not offer the ERCP. So, I mean, that's clearly better for the patient so that they're not necessarily getting an invasive procedure. Absolutely. And then with the ERCP, commonly we, we wouldn't use anesthesia or sedation. So we're saving the patients that by doing diagnostics uh, by MRI, which could be done without sedation.